or had something to do with it? It had a lot to do with it, Charles, absolutely. And the wind off of the lake. Now, there were strong to severe storms all night just to the south of the Wisconsin-Illinois border. They got so tall that all the clouds started shooting up into our area. So that provided a blanket. We had a stratus deck low, and then they just hung around. And then the lake won out on that battle. So we kept it a little bit cooler. And this is what's left over. Here's a look outside right now. A mid-level cloud deck just kind of hanging around. 48 degrees in Waukesha. You had to head well to the west to have some warmer temperatures today. That east-northeast wind. Winds out of the east is going to be very common as we head through this upcoming week. And what does that mean for us? Cooler by the lake. Okay, but at least it's not going to be snowy. I have no snow in the seven-day planner. Now, why would I even talk about that? It's April in Wisconsin. That's what I'm talking about here. Check this out. In Milwaukee, the warmest day ever in April, 91. Wow. Coldest day, 12 degrees. So that's a huge spread. The wild swings of April in Wisconsin and the most snow for any day around here in April. 14 inches of snow. So we could still see snow, no problem. But again, I don't have it in the seven day. I actually have an improving trend with more sunshine coming up here in a little bit. 48, the average high. Oh, look at that. Actually made it to average. I know we thought it was cooler, but actually this is where we should be. A little bit warmer to the west. So because of the cloud cover and those storms, the warm front just kind of stalled to our south, kept us in the cool air. But it's close to 60 in Watertown right now. 57 in Beaver Dam, 43, so cooler by the lake in Racine, 50 in Port Washington right now. And with satellite and radar, those clouds, mid-level clouds, just kind of hanging around. And a couple little sprinkles off to our north mainly. We could see one of these going through the night tonight, but most of your night's going to be absolutely quiet. And then as we go through tomorrow, at least during the day, that looks quiet as well. But we have a storm system that is heading our way, and as it does, it's going to bring us better chances of rain, but still just a chance of rain, mainly as we head into Monday night. So most of our night going to be quiet, maybe a stray sprinkle out there, that warm front, unfortunately, going to be to our south, and the wind is going to stay off of the lake even tomorrow. So going through the day, we're fine, but there we are going through the evening and overnight on Monday night. That's going to be our better chance of scattered showers and storms could linger into Tuesday morning, but Tuesday is not going to be a washout if we see any rain. So tonight, partly to mostly cloudy, possibly a stray sprinkle in 40. For tomorrow, 53 by the lake. Yes, cooler there. Well inland, I mean way off to the west, 63 there, partly to mostly cloudy. A chance of scattered storms tomorrow night in 44. And then as we head into Tuesday, we could start off with a morning shower. 58 by the lake, 64 Waukesha and inland. Heading through this upcoming week, once we get past Tuesday, then we quiet it down around here. Looks like a nice, comfortable little stretch. No, we're not going to see the 70s and 80s like we saw most of March, but still, that's nice for this time of year. Remember, that's opening day coming Friday, up. Yeah. yeah, and it's going to be dry and pretty pleasant, but the roof will be closed, but who cares? Tailgating should be nice. Baseball is back. Yeah, it is. Love it. Thank you, Fish. Yep.